I do know about some of these topics and I know about them in great detail. I do know about some of these topics and I know about them in great detail. You see, when I'm in a room with certain people, unfortunately I'm incapable of getting in depth with some of this information or talk about some of this information. Because a lot of the times, I mean, uh, but let's just face it, I mean, whether atheist or Christian, the average person doesn't spend a lot of time trying to figure some of this stuff out. I mean, it doesn't really matter what side of the great debate you're on. You have to invest time to try to understand some of these things. But um, when I am talking about some of these things, it's usually only to try to explain or draw a linkage to my argument. Right, like you hear me talking about ATP synthase all the time, but you won't hear me really get in depth at a technical level explaining oxidative phosphorylation. Cellular respiration or the electron transport chain. So here I'm gonna to try to explain a little bit of this science so that hopefully we can understand a little bit better what I mean by the uh, NADHD, hydrogen, acetylchrome B, acetylchrome C, uh, acetylchrome C and uh, acetylchrome oxidase. What happens is that you will have cytochrome oxidase taking four electrons from the, uh, from the oxygen atom. What happens is that you will have cytochrome oxidase taking four electrons from the, uh, from the oxygen atom. So you said in your video, there are four electrons taken from the oxygen, which means it is oxidized. That's not what I said in the video. If you go back to the last video that I put up, you hear me talking about how oxidative phosphor or oxidative phosphorylation, when I'm, when I'm talking about oxidative, oxidative phosphorylation and cytochrome BC1, uh, or, and cytochrome oxidase and uh, the different complex uh, structures along the mitochondrial matrix, that it's the cytochrome Chrome BC or a cytochrome oxidase that is supposed to be catalyzing it. It doesn't have anything to do with the, the, um, the what is it? The uh, the oxygen atom. It has to do with cytochrome oxidase catalyzing it. So what he just did right now when I was speaking with him was he doubled down. He gave me a a a statement that was supposed to demonstrate that I was wrong about electron transport and oxidative phosphorylation. But the problem was, was the comment that he said, that he gave me, should have allowed him to understand that the electrons that are coming from the atom, uh, that are, you know, but what basically happens is that you'll have the cytochrome oxidase taking the four electrons, and the four electrons, they then add, uh, they, uh, four electrons will add to the oxygen atom to form water, basically. So you have the electrons interact with the, uh, with, uh, the oxygen and uh, eight hydrogen ions, and then uh, separately, you'll have two water molecules form, and then four hydrogen ions pumped across the membrane, which is basically, it's a proton, right? So the, it's we're not talking about the oxygen atom right here. And I know this is this is kind of technical, but I want you guys to try to follow what I'm saying. This is, this is really, really important right here because the mistake that he made is not a matter of opinion. It's, this isn't like a, a debate thing. This is like a general science fact that he's clearly showed that he didn't understand.
not what I said in the video. If you go back to the last video that I put up, What happens is that you will have cytochrome oxidase taking four electrons from the, uh, the oxygen atom 